Okay, we are in the bathroom getting ready to get ready. Just did my hair, washed my face. I have a couple things that I'm filming today and I was just going through my memory card and my computer and I'm so freaking sad because I had the girls do like little interviews. I did it like right before Coke's birthday because she just turned five and then Lola's about to turn three. So I had them do cute little interviews and I just asked some questions like their name, how old they are, their favorite things. And somehow I freaking deleted the footage and I literally want to cry. I'm just going to redo it. So I feel like it's not that big of a deal, but I really just wanted to like have that original footage and I looked on the memory card I checked my computer checked my trash and I think that I accidentally deleted it and it's gone I'm trying to not be so sad about that right now I'm just cleaning up in here and then what else I'm gonna film myself getting ready we're gonna do like a little life update this morning I went on a little coffee shop date with JC I also went and got a pedicure I took the baby with me she was supposed to be napping during the pedicure and she did for a little bit but at first she was awake for like a long time luckily she fell asleep they were so sweet they like gave me pillows to put her on so she could like be so comfy what else i've also been getting stuff together to start packing for my trip i have stuff everywhere because i've been just getting my stuff ready to leave but before i do my makeup and do a little life update i wanted to say thank you to primarily pure for sponsoring today's video they just did a rebrand and all of their products have new packaging so they're so beautiful and minimal so this is the facial cleansing oil i just got the one for normal skin i also love a cleansing oil because i feel like it just really gets all of like your makeup and everything off i also like that they're ingredients like i can actually read and pronounce all of them they use very down-to-earth ingredients so there's no chemicals no fragrances no fillers they're actually clean and they actually work i actually have their body wash and their hand soap in my guest bathroom they're non-toxic derived from nature with minimal ingredients i've been loving this this is the soothing mist they had a couple different like mist options it also smells so good and then wait where's my room mist is this my room mist Oh yes, I have some King of the Green one. I also got this little room spray. I've just kept this on my nightstand. I love to also go crazy with this. Just do a little refresh. And they did give me a code for you guys. My code is Aspen15 for 15% off site-wide. I have tons of different stuff. They also have different products for like dry skin, oily skin. So I will have that linked for you guys if you want to check them out. Right now, what makeup should we do today? I think we're just gonna go very simple. Do I have a blush I wanna try? I think I'm gonna set my camera up in my room and do a long-awaited life update. I think that I have everything I need. So, here we go. Okay, so life update. First life update, I'm going back to the dentist as soon as we're back in Utah because my teeth are still too big. This is probably gonna be the fourth time that I've gone back, I think. I feel like it's hard to tell like after the initial adjustment, like what I think. He's always like, oh, like, is it good? And I'm like, yeah. And then later I'm like, wait, no, that's an important life update, I would say. I also did not bring a mirror with me. So I guess I will use my phone. Let's get into the life update that everyone has been asking me about for quite a while now. I am no longer married a few months ago. I don't know who, but somebody said something to someone somewhere about me filing for divorce. Lots of like different things were posted about it. Um, I was not aware that this was going to be happening. I did not know and it was very, very very shortly after I had my baby. And I also have said on my TikTok that I'm not really going to talk about this, but when I say talk about it, I mean like the details of why I chose to get divorced. I don't think there's a problem with me talking about a new chapter of my life or even like being single, different things like that, I feel like is okay. But I'm not gonna share different details of me actually getting divorced. I think it's really important for my kids to like not grow up and see things like that online. So I have chosen to not speak directly about things like that. So when I say that I don't talk about it, that's what I'm meaning. But if you see me making a joke about like being divorced or whatever to a funny TikTok sound, I will keep doing that because if I don't laugh I will cry. Obviously Parker and I have young kids together. If you see him in the background of a vlog or something or if you hear him I mean yeah <laughs> I don't know like what really to say about that like people are so confused. I understand why and I also understand why people are curious like a lot of people kind of feel like I owe them an explanation and I don't feel like I do. Obviously you guys have been here through a lot of our I mean pretty much our entire relationship like from before we even started dating. I know a ton of you guys have been here since then. And I honestly feel like I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna say in here and what I'm gonna cut out and what's gonna actually make it into the video because I never feel like I really have to explain myself. I've expressed regret over the last like year or two about sharing different things in my life, like my kids and stuff like that. And I wish that I hadn't shared so much of my relationship either. I don't know, that's like a conversation for another day. But basically I just wanna have like a normal 
all i don't even know i don't even want to say a conversation because a conversation is like back and forth between people and as much as i love you guys so much and i know that there's like the normal regular cool supportive girls watching this and i'm so grateful for you guys there's also the people who are like messaging me before i've even spoken about this at all and like asking me what's going on and asking me for an explanation especially if i have not spoken about something myself i think it's very odd that i've had people like messaging me and asking about this before i have spoken about it people love to say that like influencers don't deserve privacy or whatever obviously i don't agree with that but i understand that when you share your life online people are going to be curious i understand the curiosity i understand people wanting to know why i made this decision the most important thing to me is to protect my daughters i just think it's best for me and my family if i say i'm divorced and that's all i say about it and then i can say other things about this is my new chapter i'm now single come along on this journey with me i don't know how like what i'll share with that because it's not like i'm like dating or something <laughs> like i've literally never been single in my adult life ever i started dating parker when i was 17 years old he's the only person i've ever dated that era is very far away of like like wanting to put myself out there i don't know if that will ever ever even happen but also in terms of like content or like what you can expect from me honestly i don't really see anything changing aside from again maybe on tiktok <laughs> me like making a joke here or there to like a funny sound or something but other than that like my content is really not going to change i'm not going to be making videos like single mom day in the life or something like that like i don't want this to be my whole personality there are other things that i go through in my life that i'm okay with that being my personality or like being my only personality trait like when i'm pregnant that's my only personality trait when i have a newborn that's my only personality trait whatever but i do not want this to be my only personality trait i feel like if i mentioned it often then like that's kind of how it seems yeah that's my life update it's really not gonna be something that i talk about often and honestly i wish that things were different and that i felt like i could talk about it but again because my relationship was so public i think it would maybe be different if i had had like a completely offline relationship and i was moving forward and wanted to speak about like my personal experience or like things that i would tell other women to maybe like pay attention to or be aware of when they're dating or deciding like if they want to be with their partner i've had a lot of people reaching out to me that are maybe in like a similar situation or considering divorce but yeah it's definitely really it's really Really weird and it's like a mix of so many emotions it's like two things can be true at the same time and you're like so devastated but then you know that like this needed to happen so it's really a lot to process it was definitely a very weird experience to have things about this shared when i had not said anything yet and i was not ready to say anything and i didn't know if i would ever be ready to say anything honestly i don't really know what else to say about it i'm not even gonna say like please respect my privacy or something because obviously i share my life online do i think that people should respect my privacy i do but if i asked for that it would kind of make me look dumb when i share my life i'm not asking but i'm telling you this is what i will and will not speak on so my baby crying all right, well, we're gonna wrap this up because baby is crying. I just wanna say thank you for your support. Um, I posted a TikTok just acknowledging and confirming that yes, I'm not married anymore. There's obviously like so much support and love from you guys. So I'm so grateful for that. And again, I truly wish that it was a different situation and different position that I was in to be able to share more just about like the things that I've learned. But hopefully you guys can understand. It just is not really a good idea. Anyways, I love you guys. And yeah, that's all I have to say for right now. randomly one giant hole right here i literally just got this that's weird anyways okay i'm going to touch up my lip gloss real quick i've been waiting for the four month sleep regression to hit even though my baby is five months old now but since she's a preemie she's like kind of behind in those things because she's not like actually five months yet so far she's been good but yesterday and today she woke up at like 5 a.m yesterday i just gave her a binky today she was like up more and then she fell back asleep but i don't know i'm hoping that it was just like a weird thing i don't know but she did it two days in a row and I can't really remember like what you even do for that sleep regression or like what it really looks like so I need to google that to like refresh my memory but she's been sleeping so well she'll literally sleep like 12 hours at night so I'm hoping that everything is good with her anyways I'm about to go up to Tyson's apartment insane it's so cute yeah it's because I have a designer though yeah yeah, yeah. right like, I like this one thing and this one thing but putting it together yeah yeah all right Avery's my cameraman going? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I just recorded the podcast with Tyson, and then we came to Erewhon, and I have not actually ever been here before. I did have this 
like a week ago when we went to Free Basic. They got it for us, but I haven't had the experience of actually eating it in person. Did you walk around the store a little bit? A tiny bit. I saw. What do you think? It's very beautiful. Tyson's waiting for his smoothie inside, but I got the white bean salad, a rice ball, and then I got the cauliflower again. And a smoothie. Got... Beaver smoothie. Hey guys, I'm with Tyson! You He's ain't even best. ready for what's about to come I know. out! No, you're not ready. We recorded our episode, then we went to Air One. And now I'm poor because this was $30. I know, it really was. But do you know when the episode's gonna go up? It'll go live on Wednesday. This, I, the episode might be up when this is up because I think this will go up maybe next Friday. Ty Rants. So I will have it linked for you guys. So good, my favorite podcast. I love you. I never miss an episode. Mwah. All right, we are officially packing for my trip. I'm going on a bachelorette trip. I planned like theme nights and everything. So so I have a list of themes that we have to hit. I think I'm gonna do a TikTok of like packing my bag. I'll kind of just show you guys like my piles that I have. My room is literally a disaster. So let me hide my underwear. I also feel like I'm back in my matching set era. I was in my matching set era for a while and then I feel like I exited my matching set era. Like I still wore them, but not as much. I literally just got like three new ones in the mail today. This one I will link for you guys. It's so cute. I also have been growing out these pieces for a while now. They're literally uneven. This one's like a full inch longer, but I've been waiting for them to grow out and I told myself I wasn't gonna cut them, but then I think I'm gonna cut them. I really wanna cut before my trip one of my friends that i'm going with went to hair school so i was like can you trim these for me like before we leave i think that i'm gonna do that especially because they literally are not even but i think i'm just gonna trim them like a little bit anyways let me show you guys i'll show you guys the actually let me see if i can show you the the thing that i made i made a little itinerary thing i just got a template off of canva mm, okay i can't really show you without showing like too much info but i will show you guys this page that i made so it has cute little outfit inspo so it is a bachelorette party but one of the theme nights is white on white it was approved by the bride then we're doing mermaids and matrimony something blue black and white bikinis and martinis and a sunset love so i have my outfits laid out on the ground you guys know that normally when i go on a trip i am packing for the whole family in one suitcase because that's all that we have the arms for so i cannot even believe that i get to pack a whole suitcase just for myself i honestly almost feel embarrassed because i'm like why do i need a whole checked bag for just one person but i also have some like gifts and decorations and stuff like that so anyways these are my piles um if you guys want to see my tiktok of everything that i packed then you can go watch that but i have this cute dress for something blue this one for sunset love i have two options for the white dinner this i think i'll probably wear the first day that we get there it's like this really cute swimsuit that i just got from frankie's bikinis i think this is gonna be my mermaids and matrimony outfit i got something different and it didn't like fully work so i kind of just threw this together and then bikinis and martinis i got this cute swimsuit with martinis I also have this really cute set that's for the black dinner night. Okay, I have to hurry because the baby's crying. I have this purse, this hat, this bag. I think I'm only gonna bring three pairs of shoes. And I have my PJs, an extra outfit, and my outfit for the way home. And then I also think I'm gonna bring this because we have like one more extra day where there's not a theme. I still need to pack toiletries and all of like the gift stuff and like special things that I have. So I'm gonna get all this put in my suitcase and then I'll show you guys some of those other things that I have. Okay, this is what we have so far. So I fit all my clothes on this side. I have swimsuits here, under right here i still need to pack my jewelry and stuff and what else i need to fit my toiletries right here and i need to like put something around here to make sure my hat doesn't get ruined but i got a couple of fun little bachelorette things i got this little headband this is a photo book and i got us these cameras and then i got these little label things just from etsy so i need to like open up all the cameras and then put these on them but hopefully we get a bunch of really cute photos from the trip i have my shoes in here and then I have just like more decor stuff right here so we can like decorate the room. I tried to keep it like kind of simple, but also we want it to feel special. So I need to see what else I need to bring. I still need to pack my little carry-on bag. I also need to find an air tag. I think I have one in Salt Lake. But I'm nervous about my bag getting lost. I don't even want to like say that, but we're not flying direct. I'm stressed because I have like important stuff in there. So one of my friends sent a packing list. So let me actually go through this and see what I have. <laughs> PJs, ooh, breakfast outfits. Did not pack any of those. I feel like I'm just gonna wear like my outfit for the day to breakfast. I have swimsuits, cover up, sandals, sunscreen. Okay, I need sunscreen. Oh my goodness. Okay, I feel like I actually do have everything after I pack my toiletries and my little carry-on bag. I feel like I'm who are you talking to? All right, I'm all packed up. I need to pack bottles and formula. So I 
have this little thing from Amazon that I love. I'm trying to think how many bottles I need to bring, but I think I'll do three. That's the one thing I don't like about doing formula is like, what if you don't have enough and you need more? Like it's stressful. Like if you're out somewhere. I was gonna say that I was gonna pre-fill my bottles, but I don't know if I can do that because of security. I need to go get baby sister up. So I'll just make her a bottle right now, but I'm flying home back to Salt Lake. And then I leave from there to go on the trip with my friends. I'm excited for the trip. I'm really sad to leave my baby. Obviously I'm sad to leave all the girls, but baby sister feels really young to leave. I know she'll be fine. This trip has been planned for like a long, long time. So I've had time to like mentally prepare to be leaving my kids. And normally I don't, like I'm fine to leave my kids, but I don't usually leave for like this long. So I'm trying to just like not think about it because I know it will be fine. And I'm just usually not a mom that like worries about leaving them. But again, it's because I'm not leaving them for a long time. Like, if I go out for the day or something, I'm like, I know that they're fine. Like I cannot have that mom guilt over something that's like so short. When I get back today, I have an appointment to go and get my eyebrows and my eyelashes done. And then my flight is out like really late tomorrow. So I'm going on another podcast tomorrow. I'm also going back to the dentist and then and what else? I have a spray tan tomorrow too. <laughs> I was using glass bottles. I had like the little four ounce bottles and I really liked those. And so I bought a pack of glass ones when I was sizing up to the bigger size. But then I realized that the glass ones are so heavy. Like my baby's never gonna be able to hold that by herself or eventually she would. But I did switch to the plastic ones because she's like learning how to hold it herself. And with three babies, sometimes I need her to hold it herself. <laughs> so yeah, I did switch to the plastic ones, but I really like these bottles. These are the Philips Advent bottles. We've been loving these. We've been loving the By Heart formula. Baby sister does so well on it. It's still so weird to like not be breastfeeding, but it is what it is this time. So it also makes it easier for me to go on this trip, even though I literally spent so much time pumping and like storing all of my milk. I actually, when I get home, I'm going to freeze dry my milk. I think that it's only supposed to last like six months in the freezer or something. And I'm like almost at six months. Like literally I have a week. I was gonna donate it, but I was thinking that like, I just should have done that a long time ago. So now I I feel like it's too late to donate it because it's gonna be like bad soon. So I don't know, maybe I'll like look into that before. I'll like look that up when I'm sitting at the airport or something, but I don't want it to go to waste. I would love for other babies to use it, but I just don't know if it's like too close to like being bad now. I think we'll just end the vlog here, but thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to use my Primally Pure code, ASMAN15 for 15% off site wide. I'll have that link down below for you guys. But that is gonna be all for me today. I'm excited for the next week to go and have a fun little vacation, have a little break. It's gonna be fun. So. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.